Hi, this is Gerhard Ritter. This is a somewhat longer video, and so I've left out the sketching stage and concentrating instead on the painting. I think that a picture should tell a story, especially if it's a larger watercolour, and here I'm doing just that. My brush is a reasonably large Escoda sable, round, and then using a small rigger just to add some of the darker touches. I swap to a smaller round, again a sable, and continue refining the colours and tones on the uh, little bits of skin that we do get to see, including his nose. Underpainting the top and the hat using the purple. I'm still very careful to leave the light areas unpainted. I continue the underpainting by going with ultramarine mixed in with that purple, still being relatively careful to leave some of the highlights behind. A combination of cadmium yellow and yellow ochre is used to underpaint the teddy bear. Once again, leaving the lighter areas unpainted, the skin tone colours that were left on the palette are ideal for the light patches on the teddy bear's ears, face and paws. Burnt sienna and burnt umber are then used to add a bit of form to the teddy. The same burnt sienna and burnt umber is used to put in some colour on the hat and here being very careful to do a little bit of lifting off with a thirsty brush. Then that rigger with a touch of uh, Van Dyke Brown to add a bit of shape and using the same Van Dyke Brown I add the eye details and the nose to the teddy bear To simulate the fur, I use quite a vigorous treatment of that poor brush. The small brush is used to uh, accentuate the whiskers and a little bit of 
suggestion of facial contours. Note how much lighter the skin tones have become as they've dried. So I go over and restate a lot of the shapes and contours there. It's now time to start looking at the large expanse of jeans and then the boots. The underpainting here is largely yellow ochre and I do a little bit of lifting off but it's just to suggest the worn areas. The jean blues are a combination of cerulean cobalt and ultramarine and even a little bit of manganese for the darker shadows i, I still work a relatively bit of the burnt sienna uh, burnt umber. broadly i've swapped to a small half inch 12 mil uh, flat this one being a tacklon This brush is able to do very sharp edges and also broad patches depending on how you hold it. I don't paint all over the surface. I do little bits and pieces and then come back and refine and join them up again. Here I'm doing the clothing that's coming through from his knees. In a sense, this is all still underpainting. The refining will happen later on. A smaller flat is used here to bring out some of the uh, folds, creases that are in the, uh, in the jeans and especially in the hems and the edges. You can go quite dark because it's going to lighten up as it dries, 10 to 15% lighter. Because this painting was a bit longer than normal, I think it was about three hours, I speed up the video every now and again. To suggest a suede of the boots, I use yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and I've swapped to a large Taclon round. Again, an escoda brush. A neutral brownish grey is used to produce a shadow and anchor the figure to the, to the ground and also to introduce a bit of the wall behind his head. A little bit of gentle spattering of clear water adds interest to the shadow areas, as does the pulling out of some of the shapes.
you can always pause my videos and zoom in to get a better idea of the detail. Keeping in mind light against dark to achieve more contrast, I apply touches of burnt umber and Van Dyke brown to the shoes and to the shadows. I'm refining the edges as I go and trying to introduce a bit of variety by lost and found edges. If you're wondering what colours I use, check out some of my other videos. They have the palette right at the end of the video. More touches of uh, titanium white gouache just to restate some of those highlights. At this stage, I don't refer much to the reference photo. I let the painting dictate what's necessary. After careful review, I sign the picture and declare it finished. Thanks for watching.